Back here on the MLB pregame show, first pitch just a few moments away as Dan Plezak and I get you ready for baseball under the lights with the Topps player spotlight. The dude, Gerald. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Nationals baseball starts right now. The dude, Gerald, a native of Jamaica, is the man to start on the mound in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Coming to the plate now, Ed Janeway. And we are set for baseball here this for evening. Philadelphia, the center fielder, Ed Janeway. Hey, nobody out now. Now the pitch. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. So, guys, these Nationals, as they interplay here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice first in their game. last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep okay, in your own down. bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Put them away. Give them your best stuff. Here you go. One, now one, here's one. a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on the first to record the out. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I really believe this offense really needs their cleanup hitter to find his form. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. Second. At the plate, the Salvador hit. Santiago. Salvador. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider Santiago. here that finds the zone for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. Dan, I can't begin to tell you how hard it is to hit a knuckleball. I almost wanted to tell the manager to give me a day off. You, you know what's so difficult about it, too, d -Rowe? There aren't a lot of pitching, batting practice pitches that can throw a knuckleball, one down, one so down. you really batting can't curve. prepare for it. You can the prepare for the fastball, Mario. the curve, the slider, and even the split, but I don't know of any batting practice pitchers that throw the knuckleball. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Mario De La Cruz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the it offense. Down, I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Santiago, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Oh. 
swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Two down now. Batting four. The shortstop. Stepping in now, Carlos Chassin, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Philly strand one. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Now at the plate, Jay Gaudio. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Jay Gaudio. Hey, we got no one. First pitch coming, here it is. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Here we go. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0-2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Standing in now, right Carlos field. Cruz. Carlos. As he hey. takes a cold strike Cruz. on the black, it's 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. No score here as we play inning number two. Weak One. rounder back One. to the mound. Throw gets him, oh. two down. Stepping in, David Soriano. He'll get to take his first cuts game. here. David Soriano. Now here it comes. Hey. So far on the year, Soriano brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Two down, two down. Big swing at the knuckle oh, curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh, 2 now. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Stepping up to the Batting plate, nine. the dude, Gerald. No yes, he'll get his first the opportunity dude. in this one. Gerald. Hey, have a good rip up there, huh? <laughs> now a throw over, hey. and the runner back. Hey, see it and rip it up there. Kids. Ready with see the first pitch. Here it comes. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Here you go. Let it fly now. Now the 1 0. Swing, line, drive. Oh, that's going to be nice trouble. Trip. All right, round it here. Round it. Dages ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to two. Digging in now, James Whiteside. Third baseman, James Whiteside. 
Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left come center. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Santiago will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. So coming to the plate, hey, Freddie Anderson. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Hey, we're still in the early Anderson. stages in this one. They're only down hey, by a no couple us. of runs. No but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! Boy, right down the middle for strike two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Batting nine. Into the box, the Dewey Elliott. Dewey. As he yeah, takes a cold Elliott. strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now the pitch. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ball, ball. Lentigua is there, two down. Stepping in, Ed Janeway. 0 for 1 the for him here in this one. Ed. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. We're back now as the Nationals ready to bat in the third inning. And as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in. New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Salvador Santiago. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. First pitch of the at bat. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. At the plate, Mario De La Cruz. Chance to cash in here and don't be surprised if he does. Certainly known as one of the best clutch hitters in the sport today. One down. One First down. pitch of the at bat on its way. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Aye. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Carlos Chassin is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Runner at first here, one man out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Now batting, third baseman. Into the box now, Jay Gaudio. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Swings through it for strike oh, number two. Oh, right. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. One left for Philadelphia. They're still down. It's 2-0. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Carlos Cruz. Carlos Cruz. First delivery to him on the way. Nobody out here, nobody. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey, strike this guy out. Damn yourself. And he struck him out. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. We got one here. Now batter, the second baseman, David Soriano. Get ahead, stay ahead. At the plate now, David Soriano, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Soriano is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0, you'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself, he knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. David Soriano goes down for out number two in the top half. Now batter. To the plate the now, Freddie Anderson. Freddy. As the first Anderson. pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Two down now. And the pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. Nationals on top, two to nothing. 
Set now for the bottom of the fifth and set to stand in as the veteran pitcher, the dude, Gerald. Gerald. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. And he falls behind 0-2. Now the pitch. Fastball ball. well outside. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Hey, nice and patient. Get yours. The one-two. Line towards center field. Janeway is right there, one down. Well, this one was squared up. Now at the plate, David Terrell. He'll start Take things out in the door. sixth for a lineup that really hasn't David. found its groove in this Terrell. one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Hey, nobody. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Line to the right side. Two, two, two. And the pitcher's got himself a hey, base no runner, hit. No runner. Eat it, eat it. Well, that's his first major league hit. There might not be too many more to come considering he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. Hey, first pitch strike hit right here. So now Ed. to the plate, Ed Janeway. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hey, nobody away. The 0-2 home. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now batter. In now, Salvador, Salvador Santiago as he takes Santiago. a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Hey, we got Runners one on here. first with one down. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Just a touch outside, 1 and 2. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this A.B. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this yeah, inning after giving up that now hit. Batting. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Mario. Dilla Cruz. Hey, get ahead, stay ahead right now. Standing in now, Mario Aye. De La Cruz, as he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. One ball and one oh, strike out. to the Phillies' first baseman. Ball and two. he lays off a pitch down and away. Two ball two. One strike. Can't connect there. It's two, two and two. two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Still two and two.
Has a look, now the pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. Washington leads this one four to nothing. The pitcher, the dude, right. Gerald, steps up to the plate no in a sacrifice situation. No so let's see if that is Gerald. indeed on right here. Come on, baby. Get your pitch up there. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high Come and on, deep out, out to here. left. Looking up is the left fielder. To the track, yeah, to the yeah, wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that one is gone. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Second home run early in the year. And this lead swells to seven to nothing. That's the exact definition of hitting a ball where it's pitched. What I love is he didn't cheat to anything. He let that fastball get deep, and he drove it right out of the yard. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Carlos Chassin. And here's an at-bat you don't want to miss. The pop is something to see, so it will have to be dealt with carefully here. First pitch coming, here it is. And a wave and a miss at a knuckleball for a strike. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. Ball it's one. too late to try and work counts. One ball, one strike to count. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. To one, first. One, one. Scooped up. And he'll take it to Got the it. bag himself for the out. So striding in, Jay Gaudio. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out. Now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. One out now. One out, nobody on. A one, swing one, one, and a... One. Oh, it's off the third base bag. Reined in. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. So striding forward now, Carlos Cruz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Runner at first here, one man out. Hey, we got one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So it was a strikeout swinging. Carlos Cruz goes down for out number two in the top half. Now batter. The second at the plate, David, David. Soriano. Yes, he'll take Soriano. a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey, plays it first. Plays it first. Swing and a line drive. Three, and three, that's in for three. a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. 
Into the box the now, Freddie Anderson. Freddy. And his guys Anderson. are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ladies Phillies leave a couple, still 8 nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, the dude, hey, Gerald. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Hey, have a rip. Like you can't. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lined into right, a base hit. All right, make the turn, make the turn. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Damn, with that single, he's now three-quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get it triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line the or one of those base. tweeners in the gap. Hey. He has enough speed, so if he can Wait, find uh, a gap or find one down the line, Maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Nats leave a pair as the lead holds at 8 to nothing. Ladies Mark Wright is going to be asked to get lead. things going here as a lead off the top the of the eighth. Number seven, Mark Wright. Yeah. And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0-1. Oh Swing and a miss, and he's in the yep. hole 0-2 oh, now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Now that Into the box, Ed Janeway. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for hey, 3 one down, one in the down. game so far. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0 and 2 now. Hey, plays out one right here. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rodriguez comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Standing now in, Salvador Santiago. He got Salvador. called out on strikes his last time Santiago. through. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Your idea of work and account goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Now to the plate, Mario De La Cruz. And he's about as dangerous as they come. Without a doubt, he's one of the true icons in the sport today. Here we go, 
guys. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Looking to send him packing again. A little oh, bit off the that. outside. It's one and two. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. And that would be the cleanup spot hey, for the one, Phillies. Yeah. Carlos Chassin, chance to cash in here, and don't be surprised if he does. Certainly known as one of the best clutch hitters in the sport today. Hey, now get ahead right here. First pitch on its way. Uh, offered it a low oh, one there, but came up empty. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike one, one, one. zone as he... Oh, look at the sliding stop. He's out. Oh. Get out of the ocean. Boy, I'll tell you, the defense has been stellar all night long. They've got the shutout working, and there's another super play to rob them of a hit. At the plate, Jay Gaudio. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman, Jay Gaudio. <laughs> First offering on its way. And. Oh, and one. You down here? Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. An 8 nothing shutout this evening. Washington took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. The dude, Gerald, earns his fifth winner of the year and mark him down for 17 strikeouts to boot. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the theshownation.com.